How's it going? I've been asked for a long time now to do a how-to video on Metallica's Unforgiven 2. So that's what I'm going to do here. This is the way I play it. Well, what I try to do is I try to take the essence and the attitude of the song and, and be able to play it through acoustic guitar. Because all you got is your guitar and your voice. So you got to use every part of the instrument. You want to be kind of aggressive. You want to be percussive on the guitar, you know? I mean, your, your attitude, you know, you're, you're kind of pissed off a little bit on it. Song. So let's just get into it. Intro. Here's what I do. Harmonics on the 12th fret, top two strings. Mm -hmm. Let it ring out. Count in your head. One, two, three, four. So the harmonic is one. So go. Two, three, four. Slam an A minor. So what's that? That's uh, A minor, and I put my thumb on the top string to shut it up. You, know, you don't want that to ring out. So, and then on the A string, second to third fret. So I'm kind of focusing my picking on around the A string. And my thumb is muting the, the E string. So open G, and then that's a hammer on the second fret on the D string. E chord. So. C with these two fingers so I can keep this finger free to go. What am I doing there? That's the B string, third to fifth fret, a slide, and then uh, first finger on the third fret of the bottom E. Now in the song they go, we'll try and do that on a six string acoustic guitar, good luck. You could do it but you need some light strings. So, it sounds cooler if you can do that. But I just go. So. Whoops. Then I go. That's, uh, okay. You're on the B string first fret. You're on the G string second fret. So. Do that whole thing twice. Then we go into the uh, first verse. Lay beside me. I'm playing? Well, I'll tell you. By the way, I'm not a guitar teacher, I'm just a musician, so bear with me on the, on the technical details of what I'm doing here. The chords. Lay beside, that's e, A minor, okay. Lay beside me, and on beside me, you're on the C chord. Really, you just move that one finger to there. Lay beside me, and notice my thumb again is on the E string to shut it up, because that does not, that does not sound good. Here's with it. No, 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 no. Shut it up. me. And then that's a, that's a pull off. And a hammer on. So. G. E. Back to A minor. Stand me. 
the sound of you. In my attack on the right hand, I'm kind of like attacking the strings. I'm hitting them kind of hard, a, a percussively, right? Instead of not just strumming them gently, because this is not a gentle song. It's slow, but it's it's heavy, as you know. So, uh... Understand me, I could understand you. string so it's just you're only playing the two strings the uh, D and G all right This F. It's the same same configuration, but I'm uh, using my thumb on the top string, and that it's, it makes it easier to go to C. So uh, let that ring out, and then the chorus. What I felt, what I've known. Turn the pages, turn to stone. Behind the door. That's A minor. What I felt. Now take the A minor and take this finger and put it on the top string on the third fret. That's a transition from the A minor, sort of with a G element to it. What I know. See? And then the E chord. Turn the pages, turn the stone. A minor. Behind the door. Do that thing again. Should I open it for you? Then. Then. The B string. So that's uh, on, all on the, the B string, third fret, to the first, open, first, open, G string, second fret. So. Notice on the chorus, 
I'm, I'm doing an upstroke that I wasn't doing on the verses. So the verses are like down. Down, down, down. But on the chorus, to, just to, to mix it up a little bit, I mean, they don't do it this way, but uh, I do a, a down and up. What I felt, what I've known. So I'm picking the A string, and then with my next finger here, I'm plucking the the uh, G string, and I'm on the fifth fret, and I've got three fingers on that. Uh, actually, you know, that's the note I'm playing is the fifth fret, but I put fingers on the third and fourth to add strength to my pull, because I'm going to bend that pretty hard. You see? I'm bending this one. But with the A string ringing out, it sounds awesome. Nothing like that. And just for a dramatic element, I like to go. 